This weekend, the city of Chesapeake's forensic unit and the FBI completed their crime scene investigation at a Walmart where a manager shot and killed six people. The retailer now says the future of that store remains unknown. Tuesday, November 22nd, six employees came to work at the Chesapeake Walmart and never returned home. It was heartbreaking. Lorenzo Gamble, Randy Blevins, Tynika Johnson, Kelly Pyle, Brian Pendleton, and Fernando Chavez Peron, many of them just clocking in for work that night. Police say as the employees gathered for a routine meeting in the break room, 31-year-old Andre Bing, a store manager, pulled out a handgun and opened fire on the staff. One worker saw it all unfold. He told me to go home. And he took the gun away from my forehead and he was aiming it at the ceiling and he said, Jesse, go home. Authorities say Bing shot himself. The following Friday, they found a manifesto on his phone titled Death Note. It starts with, quote, sorry, God, I've failed you and goes on to mention that associates laughed at and mocked him. Another part says he wished his parents had, quote, paid closer attention to his social deficits. Police say he legally bought a handgun Tuesday morning, the same gun used in the shooting. There are absolutely are always warning signs and we need to take heed to those. I mean, and more workplace awareness for for safety and violence. Now the community remembers those tragically taken. I talk to these people every day. You know what I'm saying? They were not a, they were not a threat to nobody. This is my second family. Monday night, the city of Chesapeake is planning on confirming an emergency declaration that will give recovery funds following that shooting. At 6 p.m., there will be a vigil at City Park to honor the victims. Working for you, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.